the multiverse where we pin multiple franchises together to see what would have happened. In today's multiverse video, I will be asking the question, what if, what if Marvel and the Star Wars universe crossed paths during Avengers 2012 and Star Wars Return of the Jedi? How do you think the story could go if the Empire entered out of the wormhole rather than Loki's army? Before we get into this video, do make sure to subscribe, like, share, and turn your notifications on so you and your friends are all up to date with the latest content. That being said, let's jump into this cinematic journey. Loki had just used the power of the Tesseract in the wormhole generator built by Selvig to open a wormhole above the Stark Tower to allow the Chitauri fleet in space to launch an attack to invade Earth. But when the wormhole opened, instead of the others, something else rained out of it. Meanwhile, Lando Calrissian and Admiral Akbar were leading the rebel assault on the second Death Star that Emperor Palpatine had built. In their universe, while attacking, not only did they find out that the shield of the Death Star was still intact, but that the Imperial forces were waiting for them. It had been an ambush and they had been expecting them. To top of the unexpected, an unknown portal had opened up in the middle of the confrontation that showed a planet that suspiciously resembled Earth. This led to serious confusion on both sides. Neither knew who had opened the portal or if it was in their favor or not. The question that remained on everyone's mind was where did the portal come from? As the captain of the Imperial commanding starship reported to the Emperor, it didn't matter to him, he said it made no difference. It didn't matter how much help the rebel forces could gather against them. The end was going to remain death and decimation. Whatever it was that stood in their way was going to be destroyed. He immediately ordered his forces to attack. TIE fighters immediately rained down and began to shoot not only at the rebel army but also at the earth that appeared in the portal. While the Imperial forces and the rebel forces had been engaging in warfare, Luke had sneaked into the Imperial Command starship but was captured and brought to the presence of the Emperor. Then Emperor Palpatine revealed to the captured Luke that the Death Star was fully functional and to prove his point he ordered that its super laser should be fired through the portal on New York City. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Loki was confused to see a different army different from the Chitauri he had expected raining into the Earth from the portal he created, and these planes that came through shot plasma lasers so advanced that they tore through anything they met. While the Avengers rallied to defend New York City from the invading fighter planes, Loki, entirely confused and knowing what was going on, decided that he didn't enjoy being out of the loop and his ignorance made him vulnerable. He then decided to escape amid the chaos of the battles around him. But one unexpected hero had noticed him and quickly attacked him. He was caught by the Hulk who beat him into unconsciousness. While that happened, a giant laser was released through the portal. The sound and heat that was radiating from the laser melted what it didn't touch or tore through the city melting it like butter and causing devastation no one thought was possible. For the first few seconds after the attack, there was a ringing high-pitched sound that deafened everyone while the whole city fell silent after the attack. They were stunned by the sheer destruction. They had to do something while the United States Army helped the Avenger fight against the TIE Fighters. They had to find a way to stop whatever superweapon that had just shot through New York and find a way to close the portal. The United States Army had become very agitated and was considering using releasing a missile into the portal and the city in a desperate attempt to end the war. Stark had reached out to Nick Fury to let the government know that he had a plan and needed some time to implement it. A nuclear missile should have been the last resort as it was going to endanger all of the people fighting to defend Earth. The Avengers divided into two teams, with Romanoff to singularly find a way to shut down the wormhole generator while Stark, Thor, and the Hulk was going into the wormhole to find a way to stop the superweapon before it was ready to shoot again. Stark then directed the others to join Rogers and the United States Army in defending New York City from the TIE Fighters. Meanwhile, the Emperor had authorized the Death Star to target and shoot down a Rebel starship. The shot was taken and the starship was instantly destroyed in one shot. Contented with the power displayed by the Death Star, the Emperor tried to push Luke into anger and tempted him with power from the dark side. He told him he could have all the access to immense power if only he succumbed to the dark side. Luke had used the window of Emperor Palpatine's monologue to free himself from the guards and attacked him. But his attack was intercepted by Vader who had interfered and immediately engaged Luke in a lightsaber duel. Meanwhile, the Avengers made their way into the portal that was able to cross-reference and find where the control of the Death Star was located. He immediately told Thor that they were to head to the location while he told Hulk to destroy and smash the Death Star if he could. The Hulk smiled and said no one was stronger than the Hulk and in a single bound the Hulk crashed into the Death Star, 
shaking it into its core and reducing its shield capacity by 20%. With the Hulk's attack on the Death Star, the Emperor ordered a battalion of Imperial forces to attack the Hulk and defend the Death Star. Luke was confused about the arrival of the new players. As he got distracted, Vader closed it on him and sensed that he had a system. At that moment, while they exchanged blows, Vader decided to distract him even further by threatening to turn her to the dark side if Luke didn't give in. This made Luke very angry. Using this anger to his advantage, Luke fought Vader more intensely using all the power of the Force he could muster and ended up defeating him by pulling him close in with the Force and severing his prosthetic arm. The Emperor watching all of this was impressed with how strong Luke was and condemned Vader for being weak. He then told Luke that he was much stronger than Vader and that Vader had outlived his uses. He could make Luke even much stronger than he is already, and so strong his strength was going to overwhelm every other. He told Luke that all he had to do was to Vader and take his place at his side. He was going to give him access to all the knowledge from the dark side, and that Luke was never lack anything. But Luke refused to be tempted. He didn't want anything from the Emperor. The Emperor then reigned as a tyrant, oppressed people, and turned his father into a monster. He was never going to be on his side. This annoyed the Emperor. Luke was nothing but an insect to be stepped on. He had offered him a place at his side and he refused. Immediately, Emperor Palpatine used force lightning on Luke and tortured him with it. This triggered Vader. And for the first time he went against Emperor Palpatine and attacked him but the Emperor also held him in place with force lighting. His screams rang through the hulls of the ship and alerted Thor and Stark to where he was. Immediately Stark and Thor broke into the chamber where the Emperor held the father and son in horrifying torture, and they simultaneously attacked. Thor lunged his hammer towards Emperor Palpatine while Stark shot him with his unibee. As the attacks moved toward the Emperor, he released his captives and not only minimized the attacks, but redirected them using the Dark Force toward Vader instead. They slammed into Vader and threw him down a reactor shaft, instantly electrocuting him and killing him as Luke screamed in horror. Thor and Stark didn't need a fortune teller to be told that Emperor Palpatine was the bad guy and quickly was teamed up with Luke. Thor and Stark fought the Emperor, from three different sides overwhelming him and keeping him occupied without giving him a chance to conveniently attack either one of them, as Luke engaged him in a lightsaber duel at close range. Thor fought him from behind bashing him with his hammer while Stark flew him from long range with his unibeam at any chance and opening he had. The Emperor was getting tired and weakened. He got distracted by Luke and Stark shot him across the room before Luke pulled him closer with the Force and proceeded to decapitate him with his lightsaber killing him to the horror of both Stark and Thor. They had told him he didn't have to kill the Emperor, but Luke told them it was the only way to permanently end the war that had ravaged their universe for years. Meanwhile. The Hulk had defeated the Imperial Army that was set to defend the Death Star against him after he had decimated them. He continued slamming on the shield that protected the Death Star until he was able to get through it and after that, he used his bare hands to tear into the Death Star until he was able to break through into it before he proceeded to destroy it from the inside out. After he had brought down the shield, the Rebel fleet attacked with newfound morale and destroyed a command starship. As soon as the news reached the Imperial Army that the Emperor had been killed, they lost their will to fight, and rebel forces pursued them attacking them until they wrapped away, retreating. They had finally won this time. They had killed the Emperor and ended the war for good. Stark had informed the Avengers still in New York that the invasion was over and told the military the missile was no longer needed. He also informed Romanoff to stand by on closing the portal. As soon as they had returned to New York through the portal, Romanoff used Loki's specter to close the portal. Back on Endor, Leia revealed that Luke was her brother and Luke cremated his father's body and watched as the four spirits of Obi-Wan, Yoda, and Anakin Skywalker, his father, floated away finally at peace. While back on Earth, the Avengers helped in restoring the city, trying to return the city to its normal state. But that was impossible. Their eyes had been opened to outgun they were against our worldly threat, and this made them work towards becoming ready for any other future threat. Then Thor decided to return to Asgard with Loki, and the Tesseract mostly to make sure the Tesseract was returned to where it belonged, and for Loki to answer for his crimes. That's all for this fan fiction. 
where New York was invaded by the Imperial Army from Star Wars rather than the Chitauri fleet, we were able to see a seamless amalgamation of the events from the Star Wars universe crossing into the events from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Imagine how confused Loki would have been as the unexpected happened and how much trouble he was going to get with the others because of them thinking he had betrayed them and worked without other forces. We were able to also see the end of Emperor Palpatine, as Luke was able to team up perfectly with the Avengers and defeat the Emperor. We could see the elemental differences between the two universes were with the Avengers. They rarely killed, but in the Star Wars universe, death was a very normal thing that even the good guys kill frequently. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments what you think of this fan fiction. Did you like it? Should the Avengers and Luke be able to defeat the Emperor? Do you think this would have gone very differently from how it has been portrayed? Share with me your thoughts on this and let me know which fan fiction are you interested to see next. Do not forget to like, share, and follow the channel if you're new. But until then, Take care and stay safe.